Awesome. Mike's Daily Podcast. Hey, I'm back, everybody. And it's Mike's Daily Podcast here at Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Mike's Daily Podcast. Podcastro Valley, Mon. It's FF episode 2279 2279. How are you doing? I'm fine, fine, fine. Thanks for asking. We're going to get to this show with all kinds of stuff in it, and it's going to be good, and it's a daily podcast. And you can win if you put your mind to it and you can do anything. If you can. Mike's Daily Podcast. If you can dream it, you can be it. That's right. That's what you can. Mike's. You can do. Daily. That's right. Podcast. These are things that you shouldn't say. Yeah. <laughs> the worst cliches in the world. Hey. I would like to say that on this Tuesday, it's Tuesday where I am, everybody. Tuesday in Podcast Valley, Mont. It's a little warm. It's a little hot. Um, I heard a lot of, what do you call them? Conspiracy theories about, you know, the coronavirus and how the government created it. And then, well, no, wait, no, it's Wuhan. The Wuhan, Wuhan province created it in a lab. And that... The vaccine was created by some other sort of mind controlling agency. Just everything, everything that's out of your control is controlled by somebody. And there, there, there's no reasoning. There's no reason why I should keep going talking about this topic. But people, oh my gosh, if they would just stop and listen to themselves and listen to the whole logic pretzel that they have created. That they're just eating themselves with their logic and they just don't, they do. It all comes down, and I've said it a million times, it's true though. Fear. It all comes down to fear. They fear something. They fear the unknown. We all do. They fear the shot. They fear the disease. They fear f- freedom taken away. I get it. And here's today's podcast picture fear. Don't. Be ruled by fear. Don't be, that's the main thing. Don't be controlled. It's all about control. They think they're being controlled by chemtrails or by whatever else crazy thing that you can't even begin to, that Mulder and Scully would have laughed. Fear is what controls it all in the end. And we got to watch how fear does, and we got to overrun fear. You know what? Love casts out fear. Got a little biblical there. I went a biblical, a little biblical on you. And it's true. Fear is the absence of love. It's the absence of faith. It's the absence of all the good things in this world. We can't let fear cast out fear, cast out hate. Hey, Basil wanted to say that too, I guess. The late great Basil the Boxer. What would he say now that I'm basically taking care of two feral cats? I don't know, but I think he'd... Get, think it was a hoot. Hey, the podcast picture is from a recent walk in Cole Canyon. Cole Canyon in Podcastro Valley. See that wonderful, beautiful sunset picture. Roll that beautiful sunset picture footage at mikesdailypodcast.com. You can see it. Here's a couple expressions. Cliches are the worst, aside from being indicative of lazy speaking. That's why I hate real, real. Reality radio, reality TV. Reality radio is interesting. Well, it can be interesting. I don't even know exactly what reality radio would be. Uh, I guess your morning show, and they talk about stuff that happened to them. And but see, DJs, radio people have learned. At least I was. The program director or whoever went over your air check, whoever reviewed what you were saying on the air, would tell you, stay away from cliches. Don't talk about trite stuff. I remember this one program director I had. Could not stand him. But he would, he would, he would tell me. He would he'd listen to an air check, you know, these little breaks uh, when the DJ would talk over a song or before a commercial break. And he'd listen to my breaks that I did and he'd go, trite! As loud as can be. Trite! And I'd be like, what? You're trite. That was trite. What you just said was trite. I'm like, okay. And it, 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 it was a way of telling me, you need to think. You need to be, 
invent when you're on the radio you should be breaking new ground when you're on a YouTube video you should be breaking new ground you are being you're taking someone is taking time out of their day to watch you to listen to you so you should be interesting you should be riveting you should break the mold you should do something groundbreaking Clichés are the worst Aside from being indicative of lazy speaking and lazy writing They are rarely used correctly And even when they are, they rarely make sense Most popularized metaphors are outdated Who throws out bath water? <laughs> or who sells tons of hotcakes selling like hotcakes anymore? I guess, yeah, maybe your local restaurant that makes some really good hotcakes Relying on such trite and nonsensical phrases shows an inability to discuss original thoughts or opinions and makes you unbearably boring. Do not be unbearably boring. Why should, in this world where things are, and, and let me just jump back to the reality TV, and I watched The Biggest Loser. My ex wife used to love to watch that freaking show. I hated it because everything everybody said was just trite, boring, like they talked in cliches because they were, but they wanted real people because it's reality TV. Same with Survivor. People would, whenever they talked, they, whenever they opened their mouth, they just sounded dumb. There's just the same, Ugh. yeah, I want to show everyone that I am because I'm all that or whatever they'd say. The same thing everybody else says on that show. Unbearably boring We could go on Until we're blue in the face Ha 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 That's another expression Okay Here's a couple of the really Worst Terrible Awful Don't ever use these Don't cry over spilt milk I like that one This cliche may be outdated Or irreverent But it does tend to undermine Actual problems Do you know a single person Who would literally shed tears After knocking over a glass of 2% it's irritating to hear this expression when seeking solace as we go outside a cafe anyway. We're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcast Drove Alleymont. While confronting a real issue, like you know, spilt ice cream. Now that is cause for concern. I try, you know what though? I, I understand that expression because I've gotten upset about things like, why are we wasting stuff? I am, I am so... Opposed to wasting stuff This is how I look at that expression Is We waste a lot of food We throw out a lot of stuff I mean some Milk goes bad We gotta throw it out You can't cry over spill, Spilling it into your sink And getting rid of it But just the You know We throw out so much food We don't take inventory In our refrigerators As much as we should But my point is Yeah Maybe we Sometimes it it, it, it it is I like that expression Selling like hotcakes Hotcakes are not pancakes Popular in the 19th century They were made from cornmeal And cooked in pork lard Ew So yeah No one really sells that The rest is history This is cliche equivalent Of calling something interesting It's a vapid means Of wrapping up a story and another way of saying I have no further insight into this matter. The rest is history. You know what? You know, bring it to an interesting ending. Bring it to an interesting conclusion. I know I end this show by saying, and here's A-frame, or just saying, you know, here's other ways to, but you know what? I try to find somewhere in this podcast to bring something groundbreaking. I don't succeed all the time. Self-explanatory. But maybe a little outdated is the expression Avoid like the plague Let her hair down How did this become a metaphor for relaxation? Oh right Upending one's hair from dozens and dozens of pins Was a daily thing for women in the 17th century It's 2021 Wearing your hair down requires as much if not more effort Than rocking a sock bun I have no idea what a sock bun is But Every cloud has a silver lining. The origin of this phrase is Milton's Comus, in which the author is referencing moonlight emitted behind clouds in the sky at nighttime, which obviously is not every cloud. So aside from being trite, this cliche is also incorrect. 
I'm very much disagreeing with this article. I like every cloud has a silver lining. Try to find the silver lining in things that aren't good. It's we don't do that enough. B- beg the question. The issue with this cliche is that it is rarely used correctly. Begging the question does not mean raises the question. It is one of Aristotle's fallacies, a type of circular reasoning that involves answering a question with a similar tenuous response, as in, why? Because I said so. Beg the question. Hmm. I don't think I even... Which begs the question... I don't know which raises the question. That's probably maybe if the, if this person who wrote this article has such a problem with that. When it rains, it pours, except for most of the time when it lightly drizzles. <laughs> Cat got your tongue. Now that's a good one too. I like that. Go climb a tree. What do they have a pro- Go go climb a tree. I don't know whoever says that anymore, but dress to kill. That's a great expression. It has a James Bond. Undertones. What does one wear when one dresses to kill? Latex gloves? Chain mail? Spitting image. The expression is a messy one. It likely derives from the phrase spit and image. As in, you are generally similar to your kin. And also you look like them. Also it just sounds a little gross. The spitting image. Yeah, okay. I can maybe agree with that. And don't judge a book by its cover. Impossible. A book cover contains a lot of important information, such as the title of the book and the name of the author. So, yeah, covers are pretty important. In today's world, especially when books are sitting there. Well, when are books ever on shelves anymore? How many bookstores are there anymore? There are bookstores where there are lots and lots of elderly people because they like them. But although... Lots of elderly people that I know are now on the Kindle or on the computer reading stuff. So there you go. A bunch of cliches. Who wrote this wonderful article that I agree with mostly or disagree with mostly? And that would be HuffPost. And I do not see an author of this story. So that means it could be anyone. Well... It also tells me that if I click on this weird picture, I can see unnerving photos of things that happened one second before something horrible and tragic happened. Well, that tells you all you need to know about HuffPost. And we're outside of Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley. Mont, look who's here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yo, that's right. Hello, my friends. It's Shelly Stewart, Chief Job Supervisor. I think I was on the last show. Were you? I don't know. I don't remember. Hmm. Look who else is here. Hello, Mike. This is Floyd the Floorman. And this is John Deere, the engineer. Mike, it feels as if we were on the last show. Why are we on this one? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think I've lost the uh, lost uh, train of what character should be on the show. And look who else is here. Mark, it's been in the road real quick. How are you doing? Good. You know what? I think you showed up on this show and you probably should wait till showing up on the next show because uh, you probably walked in. Uh, so come back next show. All right. Okay. Next show, it'll be the wonderful Benita, the disgruntled fiddle player, and the brewmaster. If you'd like to chime in about anything we covered, you can call me 336-MM-DAILY. 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM is in Mike Matthews daily, as in what this podcast has been. Ooh, I bet someone is calling me to tell me something trite. And I shouldn't... I Well, if it goes to voicemail, it's because it was something trite. Or I might be wrong. I, I just couldn't answer it right away. I'll listen to it later and find out how untried it is. So please chime in and let me know. Thanks. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.